we're going to be getting deeper into our slice manipulation. What do I mean by getting deeper into our slice manipulation? We're going to be taking a look at our audio output and how we can manipulate a couple slices of Rex without not changing them all. Alright, so here we have a Dr. Ox and I have loaded up a drum loop um, that I sampled. I, tight and bare is what I call it because it's tight and it's bare. So let's take a listen. Pretty interesting four bar loop, all right? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to select slice by MIDI. So that way when I play my MIDI keyboard, I'm able to see the slices, all right? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to identify the sounds that I want to isolate. I'm gonna be isolating the kicks, all right? So I have a kick here. I go down to output, click up, one and two, all right? Now you'll notice when I hit my MIDI, I don't get any noise, all right? Another kick, one and two. Another kick, one and two. So now let's take a listen when we hit play. Okay, so it looks like I missed a kick, but you get the idea. We can't hear the kicks. Well, if we hit tab and flip it around, we see one and two here. Interesting. That's a left and that's a right. And what that is, is those are our kicks. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a mix channel. All right. One and two to the input. And now what happens when we hit run? All right, well, let's solo this mix channel. It's just our kicks, which means we can do a lot of things, all right? Let's insert some effects, creative, scream, tape. All right, now I'm just playing around. There's a lot of different things that we can do with this, all right? But essentially the idea is here, what we've done is we've separated the kicks from the rest of the hits, so we're able to manipulate them separately. Well, let's go to the mixer. If we hit play, you can see that these are our drums, these are our kicks. Alright, now, you know, I'm obviously I'm not in love with this sound. There's going to be some things I'm going to change. For example, I want this dry signal to come through as well on our hi-hat. So I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to create a audio merger and splitter. Our main out right here, I'm going to split. Okay put half to our affected noise and I'm going to create another mix channel and this is going to be our dry hi-hat sound and now let's take a listen alright now we're getting somewhere okay mm, well I want to beefen these up a little bit, so I'm going to create a compressor, see if we can get them to sit in the mix a little better. All right.
so we've taken essentially our original drum loop um, and because of our outputs we're able to send some slices out isolate our hi-hats and our snares and our kicks split our hi-hats in half add some echo and some effect and create something totally new and interesting so let's say you have certain sounds in your loop and you want them to be doing different things to add a little flavor this is how you get it done but now alright I hope you found this helpful I think it's a really neat tool I think the Dr. Octorex one of the coolest features about it is this ability to take some of these slices and move them out if we flip it around you see that we have one two three four five six seven eight all right so you have a lot of possibilities okay all right cool i hope you found this helpful use it video responses i want to hear what you get done send me a message post it on youtube upload it and let's hear what you got all right until the next time, konnichiwa, love, peace, chicken, grease. It's all good. Todo bien.